Yo, yo, what is up, YouTube? It is the Junkie, and I'm back with my Tampa Bay Comic Con 2022 haul. Um, uh, been every year for about seven years, and I have to say, this time around, kind of disappointing. Um, I picked up a good a good amount of books. I only went one day. Um, I only went Friday. There was only maybe five or six comic book vendors. Very disappointing. Um, the only good part was I got to meet up with my boy Zach, a.k.a. Master X. Um, I've hung out with him the past three or four years, every year. So it's very cool to be able to hang with him and, and hunt for comics. If you guys aren't subscribed to him, you really need to. I mean, you want to talk about a hunter. This guy can hunt comics. He knows what to look for. And just all around nice guy. Had lunch with him. And, uh, yeah, super cool. So, uh, if you're not subscribed to him, go check him out. Um, let me go ahead and show you guys the prints I picked up first. Um, the only real comic book artist that I was excited to see there was James O'Barr, who created, uh, The Crow. So I picked up that awesome print. And this one. Um, he signed them down here in the bottom. Um, pretty cool. Uh, some other prints that I picked up. Um, I picked up some horror prints. Picked up this Reagan, aka Exorcist. Let me lift this up. Let's get rid of the glare. Um, I also got matching coasters. I left them downstairs. I'm in my comic book room. But here's uh, Michael, and I picked up Jason. Um, and the only other coaster I picked up was Freddy Krueger. So I picked up all three of those coasters plus Freddy Krueger. These prints were. Uh, Buy two, get one free, and the coasters were four for 30. So, those are the only prints that I picked up this year from Tampa Comic Con. Like I said, there was really no one really there that I was even interested in seeing. So, the only X Men book I picked up was X Men number 97. Um, don't look at the price, it's not what I paid. Um, they were given some deals, if, especially if you paid cash. So, I picked that up. And then I'll just show you the random books that I picked up. Found a couple of uh, Volt of Horror, or Volt of Evil, my bad. Um, I am collecting, I got four, or 15 and 14. Um, as you guys know, I do collect horror comics mainly, and X-Men. But I did find some good run fillers on stuff, and some runs that I just started to work on. So I'll show you those. Um, I went to this one vendor, um, or one dealer, and he... Zach knows him, or Master X knows him, and he gave me a really good deal. I forget what books he gave me, but this is part of it, so I didn't pay 15 I ended up getting like $60 of books, and he only charged me like 35 So I probably got this thing for like $7, $8. Um, found this at another vendor. Uh, they had a sale of, five, this was $5. It's missing a coupon, but cool cover. Don't really click Fantastic Four, but I like the cover. And I got it for five bucks, and it was buy four, get one free. So I ended up buying five books from them. Um, so that's another book there. Uh, found this, Marvel Chillers featuring uh, Mordred the Mystic, number one. I think I paid 15 for that. Found this one, um, Spider-Man vs. Wolverine. Just a different cover than what I have. So I picked that up. Um, and I'm just showing you the random books I picked up, guys. Uh, here is Captain America 207. I got two copies. Um, I didn't pay five. I think I paid like three fifty each. But um, if you guys don't know, this is the very first comic that I ever got uh, as a kid, and it started me on my path of collecting comics. So I'm trying to pick up multiple copies of it just for nostalgic reasons. So when I found them cheap, I went ahead and picked up the two copies that I found. Uh, now for, um, let me see here. Uh, I needed this one, Marvel Premiere number 22, uh, featuring Iron Fist. That's another run that I'm working on is the Marvel Premiere. So I needed that for my run. And also, um, I'm working on my Iron Fist run. So I have two, issue number five, and issue number six. I can't remember what I paid don't like I said. Don't look at the prices, guys, because they were offering deals if you bought if you paid with cash. Okay, so that is all of the books that I picked that are just like random books. 
All right, now for like some mini runs and stuff that I'm we're kind of working on, and these are in no particular order. But another run that I'm working on is Ghost Rider Volume Two, and there's issue 41, 43. Uh, which one issue is this? 46, 47, 52. Uh, 54, and 56. So that's another run that I'm kind of working on is the Ghost Rider Volume 2. Um, uh, half to three quarters away finished with that. Um, I, I don't pay a lot for those. I got the first, like, 30 or 40. So the bigger issues are already, you know, I already have in my collection. So... Um, and, God, I tell you guys, this, I mean, it really sucked. There was only, like I said, five or six dedicated comic book vendors. And they had some dollar boxes, but the dollar books were books that you would find in, like, 50 cent bins. And the two dollar books were, like, dollar books. So it was, it was really weird. It was a lot more Pokemon and, and, uh, Pops vendors and there were comic vendors. So another series that I'm kind of working on is What If All Volumes. And I found this one, uh... It's a one-shot feature in Wolverine. Here's issue number one. I, think this, I believe it's another one-shot. Then here's from volume two, number 26, number 43, number 38, uh, number 45. From volume one, here's number 14. Uh, issue number 52. And this vendor, I got all these books from this same vendor. All these what-if books. Number 56. And he was kind of upset with himself because he said, um, the books that I bought these from, um, I got these all for like $3 a piece. And he gave me a little bit of a deal at the end. Um, he meant to put these out at 5 but he hasn't gone through these boxes since, like, in two years since COVID started. So there's issue number 57. And he was kind of upset with himself that he let him go for this cheap, but... Hey, 76, 84, 92, uh, 90, and issue number 89. It was the first time I ever heard a vendor complain that the prices weren't high enough. So, so, but yeah, that's uh, some what-if books that I found. Like I said, that's, that's a run that I'm working on. Another run that I'm kind of working on is Marvel Comics Presents, and I found issue number 71. Number 69, like I said, these are in no particular order, guys. Number 70. Uh, number 91. Number 97. Number 114. 122. 130. 96, 94, 93, 92, 67, 108, 125, 124, 123, and the last one, 98 so yeah that's like i said that's another run that i'm kind of working on so super excited to find those and now the next i mean i got a big old stack this is the one run that i really wanted to hunt down other than x-men at comic-con and it's a run that i just literally just started collecting i have maybe um four or five books of this before i started collecting it so i didn't have much of the run but i did find some good deals um number 17 for three dollars Number four, or 16 for uh, four dollars. And I believe these here that are in Mylar, um, number 14, uh, number 13, are came from the vendor that um, Master X was friends with that I got the big deal on. So, I mean, I literally got these for probably a dollar or two. So, super excited about that. Number four with the X Men. Then I found this one, Marvel Team Up, number 92 with Hawkeye. Uh, number 119 with Gargoyle, 118 with Professor X, One, uh, number 44 with Moondragon, 
Uh, number 45 with Kill Raven. Number 54 with Hulk. 52 with Cap. Uh, number 43 with Doctor Doom. Number 94 with The Shroud. Uh, number 120 with Dominic Fortune. 123 with uh, Daredevil. 41 with The Scarlet Witch. 106 with Cap again. Uh, one, 101 with Nighthawk. Another copy of... Uh, with Hawkeye, I believe this is a key issue. Something, something. At first appearance, I think of Mister Fear. Um, number fifty with Doctor Strange. One forty-four with the Moon Knight. Uh, Twenty-six with Thor and the Human Torch. And number thirty-two, the Human Torch and the Son of Satan. And that is it, guys, for my Tampa Bay Comic Con haul. Not a lot of books. Um, I don't know about sixty books or so, eighty books, seventy books. And a few prints. Um, like I said, I only went for one day. But, hey, it is what it is. And uh, hopefully next year they have more comic vendors. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. It's the Junkie. And I'm out. Peace.